Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will show you how to set up an Ethernet IP EX600 using a generic Ethernet module. During the video, we will show you the equipment, software, and the steps required. In the end, we will have a PLC-driven actuator working through the EX600. Let's get started. These are the parts and tools that you will need to set up everything in this video. You'll need a PC, software, and Ethernet connectivity for communication. To see how we hooked up the hardware, check out our setup video first. Also, make sure to watch our EX600 IP address setup video. First, hook up the actuator to the valve manifold. Then, using the manual overrides test to make sure everything works. Now, we will start our Ethernet module setup. First, run and install the EDS file for the EX600. Check the video page for more details. Now that we have the EX600 set up with an address, 192.168.0.40, we're ready to connect this up to the PLC. So, we'll go into the PLC programming software. We have created a program and given it a name. On the left-hand side, under the controller organizer, go to Ethernet, right-click, and tell it you want to add a new module. In this case, we're going to set it up as a generic module, so we'll uncheck everything on the left side. Go to Communication Module, go down and choose the Generic Ethernet Module, and Create. In the New Module table, enter the desired name first, then select the Datacom format, and input the IP address set earlier. The input instance is going to be 100, the output is 150, and the configuration is going to be 105. These can be found in the configuration manual for the EX600. Then we need to know the amount of data we're going to be getting. In the EX600, because it's configurable, you can have different amounts of data because of the I.O. cards that you have installed. If your EX600 is web-enabled, you can look up the required input and output bytes on the IP address web page. Right here is where you can get the data. Either way, once the size data is entered, hit OK. Let's map and stroke the valve stations now with the RS Logic software. Now let's use the map device as I.O. In RS Logix, go to the controller tags, choose the output area drop-down. These can be calculated. Or, for the EX600, it is very helpful to look back at the web page and see the module shown in order from the first position and ending with the serial interface unit controlling the solenoid valves. We go back to the solenoid valve drop-down. And remember, the solenoid valve starts at byte 5 for the actuator, not 1. Create a couple of tags here, one called retract, and we'll give it an alias. Assign it to the output, and then we'll call one advance. Assign that to the next output. Once done, we save those. Then run who active from the communications tab. Then we download the application to the PLC. Now put the PLC in run mode. Now you can monitor the tags and actually be able to set the bits here. Now the actuator is under control of the PLC. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our next Ethernet IP EX600 video where we show you how to connect and use digital and analog inputs and outputs.